Submarine Museum, INS Kursara, S20, Vishakhapatnam. INS Kursara, S20 was a Kalvari class, a variant of the Foxtrot class, diesel electric submarine of the Indian Navy. She was India's fourth submarine. Kursara was commissioned on 18th December 1969 and was decommissioned on 27th February 2001 after 31 years of service. After decommissioning, it was dedicated to the nation by Chief Minister N. Chandra Babu Naidu on 9th August 2002 and was preserved as a museum for public access from 24th August 2002 making its final journey to Vishakhapatnam on RK Beach. Kursara has the distinction of being one of the very few submarine museums to retain originality and has been called a must-visit destination of Vishakhapatnam. Despite being a decommissioned submarine, she still receives the Navy's dressing ship honor, which is usually awarded only to active ships. Kursara has a length of 91.3 meters, 300 feet. Overall, the beam of 7.5 meters, 25 feet, and a draught of 6 meters, 20 feet. She displaces 1,950 tons, 1,919 long tons surfaced, 2,475 tons, 2,436 long tons submerged, and has a maximum diving depth of 985 feet. 300 meters. The complement is about 75, including 8 officers and 67 sailors. The submarine has 3 shafts, each with a 6 blade propeller. She is powered by the Komuna 2D42M diesel engines, each with 2000 horsepower, 1500 kilowatts. She also has three electric motors, two of them with 1350 HP, 1010 kilowatts and one with 2700 HP, 2000 kilowatts. She can achieve a maximum speed of 16 knots, 30 kilometers per hour when on the surface, 15 knots, 28 kilometers when submerged and 9 knots, 17 kilometers per hour while snorkeling. She has a range of 20,000 miles, 32,000 kilometers at 8 kilometers, 15 kilometers per hour, 9.2 miles per hour. When surfaced and 380 miles, 610 kilometers at 10 kilometers, 19 kilometers per hour, 12 miles per hour when submerged. There are 10 torpedo tubes to carry 22 type 53 torpedoes. She could lay 44 mines instead of torpedoes. She also had a snoop tray and eye band radar for surface search. Operational History Kursara was commissioned on 18th December 1969 in Riga, Soviet Union. She was India's fourth submarine. Kursara, first commanding officer, was Commander Arun. Auditor. She began her maiden voyage to India on 20th February 1970 during her homecoming voyage, which lasted from February to April 1970. She visited Gothenburg, La Coruna, Takoradi, and Mauritius. Kursura, along with a sister boat, INS Karanj was made operational under the Indian Navy's Western Naval Command and reported to the Flag Officer Commanding-in-Chief Western Naval Command for Sink West. In 1970, Karanj was badly damaged after a collision with the destroyer Ranjit when she surfaced directly below the ship. As no drawings of the damaged portion of the boat were available with the Bombay Dockyard or the Indian Navy, it was decided to use Kursara, which was already being docked in Bombay as a design template for the metalwork. Later use Kursara was used for test firing the NSTL 58 torpedo in 1975. 
She was laid off for many years to be cannibalized for spare parts for other submarines. But underwent a refit in the Soviet Union between 1980 and April 1982 and was made operational again in 1985. Along with the INS Taragiri, she participated with first anti-submarine warfare ASW training exercise with the RSS Victory of Singapore off the coast of Port Blair between 21st and 24th February 1994. She participated in the second ASW exercise with Singapore along with INS Dunagiri, RSS Valor and RSS Vigilance. She visited Singapore and Jakarta, Indonesia in December 1994 as a goodwill visit. After 31 years of service and traversing 75,500 nautical miles, 136,100 kilometers, 84,600 miles, she was decommissioned on 27th February 2001. Despite being a decommissioned submarine, she still receives the Navy's dressing ship honor, which is usually one awarded to active ships. Museum ship. After decommissioning, the ship was towed to RK Beach in Vishakhapatnam and was established as a museum ship, which in the first submarine museum in Southeast Asia. The idea of the boat's conversion to a museum is credited to Admiral V. Parisha. Towing the submarine 600 meters to its final location took 18 months and costed 55 million rupees. It was converted as a museum by the N. Chandra Babu Naidu government, launching on 9th August 2002 and was opened from 24th August 2002. Six retired naval personnel serve as guides and another one as a curator. Kursara has the distinction of being one of the few submarine museums to retain originality. She has become a famous tourist attraction of the city and has been called a must-visit destination of Vishakhapatnam by the Hindu Times. Out of the 10 million Indian rupees revenue generated every year at the museum, 8 million rupees is being used by the submarine's maintenance. During the first hour, first four months of the museum's operation, it was visited by 93,000 people. Daily visitors usually range between 500 and 600 and shoot up to 1,500 during the tourist season.